This show is sponsored by HamiltonDomains.com, where you can get your domain starting at just $10. All right, Andy brought away here with Tech Biz Geeks, and we're about ready to go into the very first drone expo at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. So let's go. All right, Andy Broadway here with Tech Biz Geeks, and we're at the Los Angeles Sports Arena at one of the very first, and so far I've not been corrected, very first drone conventions, exclusively drones, here in the United States. It's our first. Yeah, it's your first, and a lot of people have said the same thing, that they've been to other shows, but not to drone shows, exclusively yeah, for drone. For yeah. specific drone. Yeah, so I think it's very cool that they finally put one together. A lot of people in here, a massive amount of people coming in and out, but let's talk about what your... Uh, what your drone is about, kind of wh where did you get started at? Sure, so we got started with a Kickstarter project. Uh, had Got into single rotor helis and flying for recreation and then decided I, I thought I could do it better. So I made a, a you know a low spec wood prototype and after flying that for a while, people would gather a crowd and people wanted one. So I thought, let's try this Kickstarter crowdfunding thing. And uh, that went really well. We got a couple hundred percent, oh, more than a couple hundred percent funded. Uh, so once we were funded, we had essentially a bunch of orders to fill, and that's when we designed and built the Switchblade Pro, which is what we have here. Uh, the Switchblade Pro is a tricopter drone, so it carries uh, three rotors instead of the typical four or six, which is more common. Uh, and there's a few key advantages of having a tricopter. You have a little bit better forward flight characteristics because it flies a bit more like a fixed wing airplane. Uh, it makes it very easy to fold up. So you can see it folds up like this, and then you can just carry it comfortably. Uh, it also, it solves a very simple problem you wouldn't think would be a difficult one is knowing which way your craft is pointed or its orientation. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when you're 500 feet away, it's so big you can tell which way it's pointed. The radially symmetric drones like the quadcopters and hexacopters, more than 50 feet away or so, it's very difficult to know which way it's pointed. So they, usually that's augmented with lights and things, but this is just a more, in our opinion, a more elegant solution to that problem. Um, it also helps with rotor wash and forward flight speed and a few other things. Um, but yeah, to my knowledge, I think we're the only tricopter guys out here today. I, I haven't seen anything like this at all. This really caught my attention. There's a lot of resellers here that are reselling other people's products and yeah. providers, but I haven't seen anybody come up with such a design itself. So I'm going to do a little bit of bragging on you itself. Okay. I understand that there's an article in this particular popular mechanics magazine, science, yeah. uh, proper, si proper science magazine, that's got something about your company. So tell us what 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 did they end up uh, what ended up happening there? Yeah. So once every uh, once every year, Popular Science, uh, national publication, been around for a long time, uh, goes out and looks at all the technology out there, thousands of items, and they pick what they think represents a step forward in the technology. And this year, they deemed our switchblade the step forward. So. Um, here you can see we won the recreation category uh, for for technology, and so now we're we're a best of what's new 2014 winner in the pop side. So this is best 100 2014 most popular item or invention or yeah, I, yeah. I don't know how many items are actually reviewed. Uh, I, I I think it's in the thousands of items, yeah. and they pick a handful for the recreation category, and we were one of that small handful. I think a dozen or so. Um, well, that's awesome. Totally awesome. Yeah, the recreation category is one of the largest, too, so it's one of the more difficult to get into, and we're, we're very proud of that. Now, in the other magazine next to it, the Men's Health magazine, they also did a study, but theirs was quite interesting. It was, yeah. again, a highly scientific study, yeah. and we'll just say we're, we're being a little bit of a, uh, a, bit, a little BS on that one, yeah. but it is, a high, it is a study that they did, so let's talk about what they did yeah. with, with your, with your, uh, with your uh, copter switchblade. Yeah, so, so Men's Health uh, had a little, more jo little bit more jovialness in their, uh, yeah. in their, in their testing. They wanted to find what copter would best deliver a beer to, say, a friend on a river. And they took ours and compared it against a few other smaller drones. And, uh, and, and the Switchblade won. It, they said uh, the other drones struggled carrying a beer, a can of beer. And ours came in you know, from the sky with a six-pack and it made everybody happy. So a little bit of silliness, but, uh, yeah. but nonetheless, it's fun to get a shout-out. And it's fun to see other people having fun with it. Yeah. 
And it's also fun seeing what other applications that could be done with the drone, I right? Expect beer delivery. That's true. I did not expect that. Yeah. yeah, not at all. And especially an entire six pack. Yeah. So that you know, that's cool. So I guess that goes to the question as how much payload can this handle? Obviously, that answered the question. Yeah, six pack. But yeah. but but you're saying that the the drone how 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 uh, how much what does it weigh now? Well, it weighs a little over two kilo, so four or five pounds in that range, and it can carry about that and carry about 2,100 grams of payload. So. It, it's quite a bit stronger uh, density than most because it can carry its own body weight. Yeah. Uh, and mostly we're putting GoPros and smaller cameras on it and then you have more weight, more payload capacity for bigger batteries and things. But it, it's, into the, it's up to the end user. They have the option, uh, I can have a heavy camera and a light battery, big battery, light camera, beer, whatever they need. Yeah, right. So uh, it gives you some flexibility in its use. Yeah, exactly. So then uh, obviously this one is fitted with a GoPro it doesn't come that way, we're adding our own camera to it, right? Yeah, correct. We're still a pretty small company, so we, uh, we're, we have limited bandwidth and we're focusing on the technology and the craft itself. Lots of people make good gimbals, make good cameras, make good sensor packages. So right now we're letting those people do that and uh, we focus on the, uh, on the copter itself then. Okay. So uh, essentially, uh, what, what, what frequency are we running at on this uh, and runtime? Uh, in, its, in its default configuration, the way you'd buy it today, uh, at this altitude, you'll get about 15 minutes of flight time, and that's carrying a standard GoPro. So we, we like to rate everything and how it's likely going to be used, not, not some kind of trumped up number. So the goal for us is to uh, under promise and over deliver. That's kind of the mentality. So. Yeah, I think that's a great promise. Uh, what frequency are we running on? Uh, yeah, so it can fly, if you're flying under manual control, it's 2.4 gigahertz spread spectrum. So your frequency shifting between several channels to uh, eliminate interference. And then it can also fly autonomously. So if you're flying autonomously, you pre-program a mission and load it onto the craft, and then you just execute it with the transmitter, and then it can fly completely out of range of the transmitter. And with the transmitter, we have about a thousand meter range. Uh, flying autonomously, it's limited only by battery. So with this battery, the one that it uh, comes with by default, you have about a five mile round trip range. Wow, that's amazing. So five mile round trip, but it's flying them autonomously using uh, built-in GPS or yeah. that sort of thing. Right? Yeah, it has a whole array of sensors. It's all powered by 3DR technology. They, uh, they create the software and then we massage it and put it into our hardware. And uh, they've been great to work with and it feels, it's nice having a partner in that. Yeah, yeah that's cool. They, you don't have to really develop the technology, you just build the apparatus, the platform, you load their technology on yeah, it. And the, more, and the more switchblades we sell, the better they do, and the more uh, accessories they develop, the better our customers are, are outfitted. So, and it's all plug and play, so it's, it's really been a great synergy with 3DR. Right, and uh, uh, upgradability with the software, obviously, because yeah. you can do it on the backside. Yeah, and the mission planning software that you actually program the waypoints is all free, and you can download it for Mac or PC. Uh, you can even download it to an Android tablet and then connect it with a telemetry unit and do it in the field in real time. Um, that gives you a redundant control, and uh, yeah, and it gives you the ability to program right there where you need it. Yeah, that's cool. Now, uh, uh, now this one's got some. It looks like carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah. It's all uh, mostly aircraft grade aluminum for the substructure and chassis. Uh, the props are carbon fiber, and then we have some vinyl and acrylic uh, to to show it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's no interference with uh, with metal paint or something yeah. like that. Yeah, we, uh, one of the main reasons we like aluminum is it's a lot less interference with video transmission. And so if someone does want to put a, a video transmitter or other radio communications devices on it, carbon has a tendency to interfere with that, whereas the, uh, the aluminum has less interference. All right, very cool. All right, so give us a website where, where they, uh, my listeners can find you. Yeah, it's just www.visionarial.com. Visionarial.com, awesome. All right, well, very cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching Tech Biz Geeks. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash techbizgeeks. You can watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash techbizgeeks. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash techbizgeeks. You can also subscribe to our RSS feed at techbizgeeks.com. Thank you for watching.